nearly 60 years, drivers on I-70 in central Denver have been driving on a raised viaduct over neighborhoods, businesses, and other streets. That will change a week from Friday. Traffic anchor Jason Luber joins us from his home studio with the details. And Jason, next weekend, traffic is moving from the viaduct to an underground tunnel. Yeah, it's a major change and probably the most major change in I-70 history through Denver. It is, uh, this is the viaduct right up here, and it is in really bad shape. I mean, terrible shape where you see concrete falling off of it. It was declared structurally deficient and functionally obsolete years ago. The Central 70 project, it was created to fix this part of the highway and add an express lane between Brighton Boulevard, Chambers Road, past I-225. In nine days, traffic is going to move from the raised viaduct to a new lowered section between Colorado Boulevard and Brighton Boulevard. I took a tour of the new lowered section yesterday, so you know what to expect when you drive through there. So the majority of the lowered section is this open air. You know, we've got walls on both sides, but there is open air to the top. However, the cover that thousand feet does have, it, it's more like a tunnel scenario uh, down under that. And on top of that, we will be building a park. And that park is going to be really connecting the two sides of I-70, the neighborhoods once again. The temporary configuration of the new lowered section will be six lanes wide, three lanes for westbound, three lanes for eastbound. There will be a shoulder, but it's going to only going to be two feet wide. So if you have a problem, CDOT's hoping you can make it to one of the, your emergency pullouts that are going to be located about every half mile down the road. Now, the move from the viaduct to the underground section will take place next weekend. During that move, I-70 will be closed starting Friday night, May 21st, until early morning on Monday, May 24th. The closure is basically between I-25 and 270, and those will also be your detours as well. Now, after this mile-high switch, as they're calling it, they're going to actually start demolishing the viaduct, the old viaduct there, and it's really tricky because it's right next to a bunch of businesses and homes. The second tunnel is actually going to be constructed right here when they bring this down, and it will eventually be the eastbound lanes of I-70, and then this will be the only westbound lanes of I-70 when that part is done. Really see the scope of that massive transformation there.